monday.com agenda template monday.com tutorial hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can customize the agenda template on monday.com and how it goes hand in hand with your daily workflows so let's get into it now to be able to use monday.com effectively you should know how to make sure that your templates are optimized for your personal use so we're going to click on the plus icon on the left and we're going to click on choose from templates and then you can search for agenda over here now this is called a meeting agenda template now this goes hand in hand with another template so i'm going to apply both of these templates and i'll show you guys step by step how you can customize this to your own preferences so once you click on meeting agenda, so this is our agenda template, we're going to choose another template over here and we're going to just search for work. And this is called the work calendar template. So I like to open this up and I like to use both of these templates side by side because they are so, so well equipped with all of the basic tools that I would need. I also have the daily work schedule template that can help you in using your work schedule effectively. Now, going back into our first meeting agenda. Now, first off, you have your Q1 meetings, which is quarter one meetings, quarter two Two meetings and then so on now if your business is a new business or you're trying to make this more optimized for your daily or weekly or monthly meetings i like to divide this by months so let's say it's november and then the second section is for december meetings now after that you can add each individual task and information about that meeting the that the task is usually the basic of your the basic name of your meeting so let's say this is going to be let's say marketing marketing updates like this and then the second meeting is feedback from team let's say for december we have present dashboard and finding stakeholder feedback like this then you have a presented by section now you can add multiple different people over here as well and this is usually the default assignee so whoever is meant to be the person that is you know working on that project primarily or is going to be presenting in that meeting is going to be the presented by you have the attendees section as well so you can add your attendees beforehand then you have your topic description which usually includes some detailed text about what your meeting is going to be about then you have your priorities as well as the date time allocated time any relevant files actions confirmed so this is a specific tick box that enables you to make sure that if a meeting is uh, scheduled to happen at the given time you can do this if it's not meant to happen you can leave it out sometimes i don't find this to be very necessary so i like to just delete this column because it's not necessary for my business then you have your action description so now this might be based upon what is meant to be done after this meeting so usually i like to rename this and i like to add meeting key points like this and then usually i like to just leave this and i like to either you can delete the column and build a new one so i'm going to delete this one and then we have the owner which i also remove because there's no necessary place to add an owner for this kind of meeting agenda and then i like to have the last updated i also like to delete this because i don't find this to be necessary either so we're going to go ahead and then we're just going to click on the add and then i like to add a text column and in this i like to add meeting key points and then we also can add now this is optional which i like to add as meeting tasks or post meeting post meeting tasks so what this enables me to do is that it enables me to write what ever was the basic brief of the meeting whatever was found out in the meeting can be written over here and then after that if there are some new tasks that need to be accomplished i can go on ahead and add them directly as the meeting is going on into this section and then later on i can convert these into individual tasks now this is just a main table view to be able to see this in a more efficient manner you can go into the calendar view over here now calendar views are a premium tool so if you don't want to do that you can always go into a kanban view to be able to get a simple version of this so kanban views are based upon the status and you guys can see important so high priority meetings and low priority meetings can be set from over here you can also create a separate selection so if you don't want priority based meetings i can just create a new segregation over here and i like to add a status and in your status just add month or time and then just add two statuses in this so we're going to click on the labels and edit the label 
And the first label is going to be the first section name. So it's going to be November. And then the second one is going to be December over here. Now I'm just going to add November and November over here. And then the second one is going to be December and December. Now, if you want a Kanban, you did that displays everything by the month that the meeting is meant to be occurred in, or maybe the quarter of the year, then you can go into your Kanban view over here. And then I can choose the column that I want to use. And I like to use the December, November and December column, just like that. And just like that, we have our tasks segregated like this. So in this way, you can manage your agendas, your meeting agendas. Now, this is just for meetings. I like to directly interlink this with my work calendars as well. So if you go into your work calendar, this is the basic template for the work calendar. You have a card section over here as well. And you can just go into the main table and have a listicle form. So you can segregate each individual week and schedule your tasks accordingly, set priorities and due dates. Now, even better than that, if you want to schedule out each individual time stamp or, you know, time period, you can do a day by day scheduling uh, tool, which usually is going to be super helpful in micromanaging every detail, especially if your projects require that level of detail. And if you want to time block your items, this is a great way. So you can use the daily work schedule template from monday.com. In this template, you have your time stamped, you have the date, you have the manager, employee, task, or archived and you can build a simplified version so if this is my monday schedule i can build a simpler one for tuesday like this and let's say i don't require a lot of information so i don't require any comments i'm going to delete that and then i can delete the hours of absence i don't need any archive achieved section so it really depends on what your personal preference is but you can add these columns to make it easier for you to denote how much work is being accomplished in each individual time block so your first time block could be between 9 to 12 a.m 12 p.m and then the second hour could be between 2 to 4 4 p.m like that and then that can help you in categorizing different tasks that were accomplished within that time now keep in mind that if you do do this uh you do have to label your tasks so because your time is put in the left panel over here then you are going to then you're going to label each label with a task now you can make these tasks individualized or you can make them very generalized so it's really dependent on what what you want i like to usually make my tasks in my item section or instead of that i like to just add them as text so that can be a bit more easier for each individual employee to add so in this way you can get started with the agenda template now i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the agenda template on monday.com if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding monday.com or any other tool, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. And if there's anything else that I left out, then leave that in the comments down below as well and subscribe for more content like this.